Hello, welcome to the sale of my 73 Imperial LeBaron um, 440 V8 Auto. Car's done 59,000 miles from new. Um, was featured in Classic American magazine as well. Car was painted back in the early 2000s, bare metal resprayed, and it's near enough as good now as it was then. Still looks immaculate, really. Um, interior again has been. Uh, fully re-leathered it's absolutely stunning so walk around the car chrome on the front near perfect paint near perfect as well a few marks here and there but nothing much at all as you can see it is arrow straight there's hardly any mark on the car whatsoever all good tyres, all the hubcaps absolutely immaculate. No rust at all. Completely straight. You can see the complete shine down the side of the car. The paint perfect on the back. Bumper it's all very good. Has a little mark there you can see a little ding just there and that's about it really everything works in the car then the little back lights and everything will light up then like I said hubcaps all perfect all around the car roof all nice and straight a few marks under the vinyl top but completely solid just lifting a bit here the same in here just lifting a bit here and just a few marks but, but they're completely solid interior I see it's re-leathered it's absolutely immaculate all electric seats Headlining absolutely perfect. Got the proper imperial mats in it. Belts, everything's just near enough immaculate. All the door shuts, perfect. There's an odd mark around it in odd places, like on the door card there. Perfect condition, the same around every single door. The door shuts, perfect. Near perfect here. Like I say back seat, absolutely mint. See over there. Same here. A little bit of a mark on top of that door card. Absolutely immaculate door shuts, the rubbers, <laughs> same again here, door shuts are immaculate, car is missing um, a few of the switches, all the electric windows work, um, never had a power door lock one in it, and when the car came, when I had it, one of the doors aren't working, so I took this apart, and two of the switches just fell apart. But the vent ones do work, they all work, but it does need some switches, which you can get from the States. I just haven't really got around to doing it. The car was originally from Oklahoma, I think it came over in the 90s. And like I said, it's bare metal painted early 2000s in Classic American in 2006. And as you can see, it's one of the best you'll find. Arrow straight. Obviously, the car's 48 years old, there's going to be an odd thing. Um, it's not hardly anything at all. Um, the keys. Nothing much cleaner than that. So. All around it, perfect, 
rudder's all good. Pretty much perfect again. All the shuts in there, immaculate. Like I say, it's only done 59,000 original miles. It dries very, very nicely. Gearbox um, just gear perfectly. Engine super smooth. Just had a rebuilt carb on it. It could do with a bit of setting up, um, the choke and everything. Probably a bit of tuning from the engine, but still runs sweet. Um, when I had the car originally, um, certain things won't work. The, the pop-up headlights. They do, they work fine, but sometimes they just need a bit of tweaking with this here. So I think it needs a bit of freeing up, but they'll, they will pop, will pop up and work. Um, little indicator repeaters in here will work as well on the ends of the wings. Um, 440, smooths your light, I'll start in a minute. Came to me, air conditioning um, pulley or the bearing was absolutely the noisiest one I've ever heard in my life. So couldn't bypass it. So it's got a new bearing, it hasn't been regassed, so if you want air conditioning you'd have to look into that, but that's been done. Power steering leak when I got it, absolutely horrendous, I had a new pump on it. Um, and then it was the steering box was leaking, where um, the input shaft goes in, um, to take the box out, which was a, it was a heavy old thing to get out, um, and that was a bit of a pain. So that's all been done. Um, like I said, carbs been rebuilt, but it does need a tweak or two. It starts up fine on the choke, just, I think it's running a bit rich. So we need to just give that a little bit of a tweak. Um, but the car you can see, you won't find a better one. You really will not find a better one. And this is immaculate in a museum somewhere, but this is museum quality nearly. Um, it's all clean. Chrome, like I say, all the mirrors and stuff are beautiful. Like I say, all the windows work. Nine thousand miles from new, beautiful in here. No cracked dash. A couple of little hairline cracks just on the steering wheel. Maybe one there as well. A little bit of wear just for someone's maybe had their thumb resting. But it's done. The clock works. The bar in there. That's all the mats. It's an absolutely beautiful car. Now fire it up. Super smooth, quiet, no rattles, no top end lift and rattle or anything. Changes gear beautifully, no back end rattle, brakes perfect. Um, it's been a well looked after car. Like well, I said, if you're looking for a 70s American car, or an Imperial especially, you will honestly not find one much cleaner than this. Um, the price is stated in the ad is really what I want for the car. I'll take a slight offer on the car. But you won't find one better. I know I keep saying that, but you really won't. It's one of the best cars. I've had about 45 American cars, and this is the most stunning one of the lot. Really, it's no too good to, to sell, really. But I like to drop the change. Um, on a van down there, it stays in the garage. Well, I've got this in the garage at the minute. Um, so that is basically it. Any questions, um, give me a message or leave a comment.